Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare Franchise Store video. This one's gonna be for July 1st. We're finally in July, five more months after this one, and hopefully we can all survive 2020, and hopefully 2021 is a little bit nicer to us all. But guys, we got some new stuff in the shop today. We are gonna take a full look at the Warzone Starter Pack, and then there's some other bundles down here that were added in as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with the Warzone Starter Pack. There's not much to talk about here today, but we will do our best. Guys, I've been hearing some reports with the Warzone Starter Pack. Now that you can actually purchase it and it is not bugged. Um, some people are not getting their COB points. Some people are not getting any of the items at all. So, I would wait a couple more days on this one. It's basically just a bunch of free items plus some COB points. Uh, it's the same exact price as 500 cob points with extras so I might wait a couple days to pick this one up if it disappears so be it but it's always going to be in your miscellaneous section of the actual store where you purchase your cob points so if it does disappear you don't have to worry you can still buy it from there but we're going to take a look at the skin take a look at the shotgun all the extras and uh, the other stuff in the shop today so here's the skin honestly a really basic skin I like how they went with the gas mask you know it's a war zone starter pack the gas, you know, it makes sense. Put two and two together. But a shotgun, that is just the furthest thing from what my mind would think of a good thing to put in blueprint-wise for a Warzone starter pack. Nobody's going to use the VLK as, like, a primary weapon in their loadout or anything. I mean, they're just not. You got a choke, VLK, Cesar, or Cesar, and then you got the XRK race grip, 12-round magazine, and the Forge Tag Ultralight. I mean, good ADS. The iron sights look pretty much the same as the normal VLK. Um, it looks cool, but this just isn't something I'm going to use in Warzone if I'm buying it as a Warzone starter pack. I mean, maybe in shipment, but a lot of players who be, are going to be purchasing this are all Warzone players because it's aimed towards them. So, I mean, it's just not really something I could see them putting with a Warzone starter pack personally. We have the calling card there in the circle, and then we have Vulture Culture here as the emblem. And you're getting what looks to be... Now, it says it's a... Uh, legendary consumable but it's actually purple so i'm assuming this is actually going to be 45 minutes of double battle pass xp and then an hour of double weapon xp but i could be wrong on that take it with a grain of salt it could be an hour but i think it's a little misleading how they have it there moving on we got the jw grom mil sim pack we've seen this one before gonna run through this one pretty quick these mil sim packs though are pretty darn cool i will give them that That one's going to cost you 1,200 cop points. And I believe we already saw Infiltrator. And that's the only thing new in this section. And then um, we have Notice Me 2 making a return with the Dream Maker. This one's going to be for the Holger. In the G36 variant. Then we have a Kimbo Pack Dark Damascus making a return. Now this is the only blueprint with this kind of skin on it in the game currently. Now... Before Obsidian came out, this was kind of the closest thing to it, and it's really, really dope in my opinion. I would honestly much rather our Obsidian camos have some sort of design going through them that is a little bit lighter of a color. I understand it's supposed to be completely blacked out, but at the same time, I think this looks dope, man. This one looks really good. You have the knife that comes with it. That one's 800 cob points. We've seen that one before, but I think that was really cool for 800 cob points, man. That one you really can't go wrong with. That one is pretty dope. But we have Devilish. Now, I've been seeing this Ram 7 pop up in some Warzone games. I have used it in Warzone. Honestly, I don't know what attachments are on it, but if you kind of tap fire it like three shots at a time in full auto, it does fairly well. It still takes like nine to ten bullets to kill somebody. But, I mean, if you can control the recoil, it's not bad. I've been seeing it pop up, like I said. We have the muzzle brake, the compact barrel, and the 50 round magazine. I guess I would assume that's why it wasn't killing that well, considering that it has a compact barrel in it. Now, I don't know if I have picked this up from somebody or how I got my hands on this, but I've definitely picked this up a couple times in Warzone 100%. So, unless somebody's already purchased it, and that is why, uh, that might be it. But the cosmetic look of it doesn't look you know that bad i'm not a fan of the random yellow thrown in there i don't think it's needed i think the black white and red would have been fine but they're just doing what they're doing so hey man if it is appealing to you guys then pick it up it's very cheap 500 cop points so guys that is actually it for the shop today don't know how we managed to crank a five minute video i think we took a little bit of a, 
uh, extra amount of time on that starter pack. But I do apologize for it being a little bit longer. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new, share the sponsors and equipment description below, along with the membership option next to the subscription button. That is all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.